so so now we will mainly discuss about a person who has uh, ecc uh, mm and uh, s4 hana uh, how to plan the preparation and uh, crack interviews or uh, made it how is exactly the plan so we know that uh, ecc mm to s4 hana okay so we can uh, the differences the slowly it is increasing okay at more at some point of time it was 90 percentage now it is maybe at around 70 percentage 75 percentage okay so how to mitigate that uh, differences and how we can plan it so a person for example in ecc sap mm first of all they should know what is available uh, why i always invest uh, insist people that you know ecc also because um, along with s4 hana new implementations there will be more ECC to S4 HANA migration. Okay. So we need to know what is available in ECC SAP MM and then uh, what are the differences in S4 HANA. Okay. The only front end theory or else in the back end any configurations are available. Currently, I made one course on ECC S4 HANA differences. Uh, that is around uh, 13 points I made it, but it's a continuous thing. Whenever I come to know any new things, I keep adding to that course so that the course will be uh, the the number of differences will be increased okay we will also come to know it's like a continuous journey from my work or uh, from my analysis or learning so someone first they have to focus on ecc sap material management okay so first of all, uh, you need to know that one. What do you know in ECC material management? Okay. So what are the uh, skills uh, one should know and uh, they have to focus on that things. Okay. So first of all, they should know about the, what is the organization structure. I will go to the course wise. So organization structure what are the structure elements we have and uh, what to learn. So organized structure and master data. So master data here in ECC or S4 HANA, in these areas, you don't see the uh, significant differences in organization structure, like I mentioned in our earlier uh, comparisons also. So all of our plant, company code, purchasing organization, purchasing group, all are at high level. It is similar. When it comes to master data, everything is similar, except the vendor has come up in a business partner and all. So first of all, you need to know about what is uh, ECC SAP material management and the purchasing. All kind of uh, either pricing procedure or documentized PR, contract, PO, scheduling agreement. So all areas we need to have a great command in that. Then we have inventory management, then logistics, invoice, verification. Okay. So these are the at high level, any MM consultant, uh, what they have to know. Okay. So here uh, in purchasing, we can consider the special procurements, a pricing procedure, all those things can, can consider there. And inventory management or even purchasing, the automatic account determination, all the concepts will be covered. At high level, we give it like a five sub-modules under ECC, SAP material management. The course wise I'm talking about. In similar way, when it comes to S4 HANA, the person who has uh, high command, uh, good command on uh, ECC, So then they will focus on S4 HANA procurement. So in S4 HANA procurement, what they're going to do? ECC, S4 HANA differences. What are the key differences in case of data, the configuration setup, okay? All those things, what are the key differences between ECC and S4 HANA? You need to learn and um, flexible workflow, okay? So when it comes to these uh, differences, you will understand about the business partner or material ledger, okay? The key differences, you can come to know that one. And even we have this MRP live, okay? I will just give you a few examples like business partner, 
एमआरपी लाइव मटेरियल लेक्चर कॉन्सेप्ट अच्छा आई थिंक आई इफ यू सी माय कोर्स आल्सो वी कैन सी दैट वन वी डोंट हैव टू राइट ऑल फ्लेक्सिबल वर्क फ्लो एंड इवन एलटीएम से आल्सो नॉट मच यूटिलाइजिंग बट एटलीस्ट आई विल हाईलाइट दैट एलटीएम सी डाटा माइग्रेशन थिंग व्हाट वी यूज इन एलएसएमडब्ल्यू वी डू इन थिंक द बिगेस्ट थिंग इज फ्यूरी एप्स फ्यूरी एप्स यूजेस एंड हाई लेवल हाई लेवल डेवलपमेंट knowledge so not development high level uh, sap already have given uh, a kind of um, standard apps okay the things so the, we need to know how they use the sap standard apps and how they are working so that level of uh, knowledge we need to have it okay so what do you know in ecc you have to learn and when it comes to s4 hana procurement you don't have to learn again what is org structure what is master data what is purchasing and all those stuff ECC has 400 differences. For example, currently I made a course with the uh, 13 points, and I keep adding those points whenever I come to know. Okay, so additionally, this flexible workflow or LTMC data migration and Fury apps uses. Okay, you can practice Fury apps. Even I have made a video on uh, Fury apps. How to practice Fury apps for free on uh, SAP website. Okay, so you can practice in SAP website to get an idea. Then you take your own uh, IDA server. so practice server and um, you can uh, build your uh, org structure then uh, practice like how to create uh, purchase order with fury okay how does it work how you are uh, integrating okay so the fury is more about the ui the user level screen right so that level of things if any key things i definitely highlight it so this is about the course level so do you have any questions about uh, as a course level what exactly Uh, you need to prepare and all. Uh, no, Ganesh, it's clear. Okay, so these points keep changing. Uh, whatever uh, immediately come to my mind, I just mention that there may be two three points and all. Definitely, you can uh, uh, focus on that here. So. Okay. so this preparation is for the people who have experience in ecc and who is learning ecc and uh, who has some idea about ecc they can plan like that you don't have to go to s4 hana to uh, from scratch you learn everything you may not need it because uh, many of things are uh, similar here and there okay the differences and all will speak about uh, what differences is available in s4 hana procurement and what we are going to take it when it comes to s4 hana we have we are getting now public cloud private cloud hybrid cloud and uh, on premise okay so what additional things one has to learn okay in s4 hana procurement itself i will highlight few things so now we have to uh, learn this uh, public cloud private cloud hybrid on premise okay so during ecc people mostly we know about on premise okay so but now we have a public cloud private cloud and hybrid hybrid is combination of uh, public and uh, private kind of thing this public cloud is uh, leading uh, with the word uh, sap btp okay if you are using any of the exploring about sap because sap btp is coming with uh, artificial intelligence okay so public cloud uh, so sap btp is mainly using for a public cloud the companies who wanted to come in uh, public cloud they can go for sap btp uh, which has uh, artificial intelligence of uh, the ufi screen everything the ai will take care about the screen designing with minimal abap if when it comes to private cloud or hybrid or on premise you will see that uh, more uh, changes to the development and uh, abap things and all but in public cloud mostly sap is giving a set of standard things okay they can utilize the companies who have a less budget to implement their erp so those people can keep it on um, they uh, they can think about public cloud where standard functionalities will come with uh, negligible developments 
So it's more about uh, S4 HANA, everybody what we need to learn, okay? So as far on a procurement, these kind of different opportunities we have on premise, what we, the server will be available in the company and which will be handled and all. And the uh, public cloud and uh, is completely managed by SAP. Okay. And SAP BTP is the one which we are um, uh, leaning more in the market because of artificial intelligence and all. Okay. So what is private cloud then? Private cloud is a little uh, kind of uh, customization is allowed. Okay, you can do the some kind of customization. You will have a secured, more than secured of public. Okay, public cloud means com multiple companies can share that uh, database or what kind of at high level oh. our understanding. Private cloud is something like additional license and additional security and additional payment. Okay, oh. so like that. And the hybrid is combination of public, private and uh, combination of uh, things it is available on premise is the one like our ecc how the company keeps a server room right you would have seen yeah. it is a yeah. server room and all uh, in that way mm. oh. so among these four ganesh uh, which one is like most of the companies are using and you said the first one is for the low budget uh, related uh, low and mid level and all we need to see the latest Gartner uh, reports, okay, to exactly talk about that one. But nowadays, I'm hearing more about uh, uh, this one, uh, public cloud. So nowadays, uh, yeah. we have a lot. Yeah, I'm asking this because, like, uh, as a, uh, like, uh, we are, like, learning, I'm a learning stage. So just want to. Uh, know, you can on focus more on public topic, cloud. Public cloud, cloud uh, public cloud, SAP, BTP, you can focus. That will okay. uh, give a good thing also for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Hmm. Public cloud, we are hearing more, but I think uh, still the domination may be on premise. But yeah, we need to see that uh, Gartner report to understand okay. uh, and the better. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So, and common thing every uh, where, whether you are in SAP or S4 HANA. So the knowledge on uh, developments, okay? So we should know about uh, the development part, okay? So we call it like a rise of W, okay? So we should know still there will be a uh, customized reports requirement and uh, interfaces, okay? So our SAP S4 HANA system is interfaced with uh, third party related systems and all. And the conversions mostly in S4 HANA, we are not using BDC. Okay. So BDC is one part of uh, uh, one, one kind of data migration in ECC. But in S4 HANA, mostly we are using BAPI. Okay. Or else you use LTMC and all. So the conversions can happen. So conversions, enhancements. Maybe because of a uh, lot of uh, development in S4 HANA, uh, the enhancement may be less lesser than ECC, but still there are requirements of enhancement based on the client requirement because SAP can provide the solution uh, at a high level to satisfy 60% of the customers or 40% of the customers, but still country to country, the legal things will change or uh, the way of uh, or what you call handling the, the same transaction can be different at that point of time. There will be requirement of enhancements like they wanted to make a certain field as mandatory for few plans, but optional for few plans. So those kind of magical uh, requirements, we cannot fulfill in SAP standard in all the cases. Certain cases, you will have a plant-specific screen layout, for example, Material Master. But uh, purchase order document type uh, screen layout, we don't have a plant-specific. Definitely, we have to go for uh, enhancements uh, to maintain certain plants in the list. And for these plants, you have to work like this for these plans we have to work in a different way okay and uh, forms forms are the common developments which we cannot escape because every country every company may have a different type of forms whether the fonts are different way of showing the information is different Few people want facts detail, few people don't want facts, few people want to have additional remarks, 
a few uh, countries they want to to have uh, tax they want to show on the PO form few can company they don't want to show the tax so always forms will have a base on the company's layout we need to design so that will be there and the workflow yeah now uh, flexible workflow is one thing which we are hearing more in uh, s Wohana. so the flexible workflow will be uh, used in the most of the cases mm -hmm. So this knowledge is still essential when you are preparing uh, for your interviews after your two years of gap. Okay. Mm. Okay. So the developments and as for HANA procurement wise, you can explore about all the new functionalities, theory apps and other things and uh, ECC as for HANA differences the developments, right? And uh, yeah, of course, reminding all soft skills, okay, the email writing or uh, latest things, uh, how to uh, try, what is the market uh, in US, like when you're, where you're staying in US. So what kind of uh, skills are having more demand, okay? Learning about the basics of project management, okay? So additional skills I will mention like, additional skills. Okay. So other areas where you can uh, focus, uh, activate methodology. Earlier we used to have a uh, SAP, right? Yes. So I have given a little uh, overview, but a full-fledged video not yet released. I may make in a couple of months. Okay. So SAP activate methodology, your, which you can focus. And uh, basics of machine learning, machine learning, and uh, artificial intelligence. Okay. At least we sh should know it. Anything is better for your client when you're working in implementation. If you have uh, knowledge on these kind of uh, skills, at least basic idea. We don't have to know technically development and all. Okay. Yes. Uh, if you know it, okay, if some requirement is coming from your client at that point of time, yes, yes, I have read an article or I have watched a video. So where uh, they are sending the data or uh, they are sending all the missions, um, what you call, um, when they are going to be uh, done, the prevent maintenance, they have to do it. The reminders are automatically coming to that engineers. Okay. So that can be done with machine learning. So I think that we can explore it. So then we can call any machine learning vendor, uh, ask for a demo. Uh, we have uh, 80 missions. We are getting sudden breakdown or sudden issues. Uh, we wanted to uh, have a reminder to have a well maintenance in advance to avoid this kind of sudden stop during the production activities. Okay, Then they can give a demo that on how machine learning can capture the initial maintenance details and how it can um, what you call guess the next uh, maintenance should be done on this day to avoid these kind of issues. Okay, just it's a high level knowledge only. So now we are in an IT way. You cannot say like one the solution should be done in only in a SAP. It's not like that, right? The clients can pay and they have a beyond. Uh, they can go for any other uh, solution if it is uh, fulfilling the requirement and if everything is good, then definitely they will make it like that. So just the high level, we need to know it. And yeah, communication okay. skills, uh, communication skills, email writing. These are all like what basic things you see. Everyone should know it. And uh, of course, this presentation skills, whether it can be, mostly we use PowerPoint only. Okay, presentation skills and uh, basic Excel. Because when you are working on any kind of analysis, basic access skills are required to analyze your data okay to analyze your data uh, to how to create a pivot how to create uh, how to run your uh, data after downloading from sap how you can do analysis okay by using vlookup and all i have a courses on uh, youtube uh, for free like uh, different different excel skills which are mainly required for sap consultants okay so those kind of uh, areas definitely one should know it sap activate methodology um yeah, like and also idea about leading ERP or uh, other softwares in our area. In our in uh, for example, you are 
other software in procurement. For example, if you see like there is a COPA, okay, uh, procurement mm -hmm. giving competition to Ariba. So in case of customer requirement, uh, Salesforce is giving a tough competition to SAP. Okay, uh, sales uh, customer engaging and uh, using uh, the service activities in offline, like when you're going for the client place and doing service activities and all Salesforce is giving a tough competition to SAP. So procurement, sales, warehouse, uh, we need to know it. What are the different kind of solutions in the market? Just for an idea only. Okay. So mm -hmm. these all will be helpful for you to give solutions to think that end-to-end uh, -end solution SAP can accommodate 70 to 80 percent, but this 20 percent can be uh, we can utilize uh, any other uh, blue under warehouse solution. So any kind of thing. So these are the areas um, which we should know it. And of course, I can mention like additional skills uh, for the job searching. OK, so that is also important. So how uh, better resume. Preparation as per as per the country, client, etc. Correct, right? Based on the business, uh, JD, client and the job the description. Job description. Based on JD, you can update your resume. You can highlight uh, the key skills which are mentioned in the JD in your resume. Okay. And uh, yeah, job searching methodology also. Job searching methodology. Like how you can uh, search a job in a better way, whether in LinkedIn or any of your local websites. So these are all areas also we can uh, focus on those things. Connect, yeah, connect to more recruiters and professionals on LinkedIn. Now LinkedIn is a leading one, so we can mention one uh, ten. Okay, that can help anything. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, this is about anyone can plan uh, how to prepare uh, ECC as for HANA procurement. So once they are very good in that area, they can little focus on warehouse management or uh, EWM based on the calls and all. So this is about the overall preparation. One can plan a three months plan or a four months or two and a half months dedicated plan. Definitely uh, who will stop uh, succeeding? Okay, if you do this kind of proper plan, Taken a demo server and practice the scenario, see the screen, see the screen multiple times. So you don't have to buy heart or you don't have to uh, get less confidence when you talk to the interviewer and all you have, uh, earlier you have uh, experience and you have a little gap uh, because of anyone can get a uh, gap for different reasons. Okay. So if so one can plan this kind of a proper way, uh, so at least you will impress the interviewer. Okay. You might miss some kind of uh, real time things but interviewer get an idea that this person has an experience this person has the dedication to prepare and the way of answering matured so uh, let's give an opportunity to these kind of people who can cope up within um few months and all so that kind of uh, confidence we are going to give it okay so yeah so that that's way like uh, how you can uh, prepare so learning plan as for an procurement if something little bit here, uh, any additional things can happen that you can find it when you're uh, searching about the differences and all. Yeah, yeah. 